we're planning a party <laughs> hey guys what's up Reese's party um, her birthday is on the 11th but we're having her party today so literally we're planning the party the day of the party so we're on our way to get some snacks we don't know what type of snacks we're getting they're probably gonna be cheap snacks we're at Dollar Tree a cheap place to get snacks and whatever else you need did you mean to rhyme I did not mean to rhyme but <laughs> when I said it in my head I caught that too I'm just like I don't know I do that a lot though it's like fake food toy food wow what is the jar is cute sweet hot mustard I don't like mustard regular mini toast okay I think I'll do that <laughs> So Reese picked up some regular mini toast from the toy food. I kind of like pretzels, but uh, it's like a really small part. Yeah. Really small bag. <laughs> Put them in both. Okay, which one do you think you would like? <laughs> Nacho cheese dip, queso, cerveza. Get mm. the beer cheese. Oh, I would probably like the regular nacho cheese dip. There's salsa. I think I've had these before. I don't know. I can't remember. But they look flavorful. Am I saying that right? <laughs> <laughs> they got party mixes. <laughs> Damn. We're fancy. <laughs> so Reese likes writing. She writes poetry like I do. Um, she also paints. So um, I wanted to find her something. You know, just something cheap and quick for her because like she said you know she's really not looking to go all out on anything so I was thinking about getting this little sketch pad it's really nice and I don't know one of these other journals that she can maybe write poetry in this one is nice it says wow and then all the pages have that too I was also looking at this one, Your Future is So Bright. I was thinking about doing like gift bags for the party because we're going to do like games and stuff, probably drinking games, but having like just little small gift bags and it's probably going to be like a, a chill, art, C type of theme. So just gift bags, everybody will get like a journal maybe and I don't know, we'll see how it goes. Like we're literally just doing this on the fly, winging it. <laughs> No planning, no thought ahead for none of this. We're just going with the flow. Well, at least you got your makeup done and I, stuff. I didn't actually didn't even do all of it. I just kind of put <laughs> color in. I never even do my makeup for I've had my makeup done twice. One what? for, yeah, one for I went to a Miley Cyrus concert with my friend. <laughs> And my friend's mom did it and then the other one was for my birthday this year. Here's some things you hear a lot of people say about Sagittarius. And we're crazy. <laughs> Sagittarius are fucking crazy. Which I can't say I'm not crazy. I was about to say, do you agree with it or not? <laughs> <laughs> but I could say for other people that they might not be crazy. I haven't had an event go down where some crazy shit hasn't happened. Yeah. So I'm like, six people. Six people. I feel like Sagittarius is one of those signs. It's like if you ever ask people like what's their least favorite sign, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. is gonna come up. <laughs> it's either gonna be like Sagittarius, like, probably most all the fire signs. Yeah, all will fire be signs. up top. Because we're definitely like, what is it called when you don't think irrational? But Scorpio too. I get a lot. Uh, a lot of people give Scorpios bad reps. They really? say they're like cheaters and stuff. And, I don't think know, I dated really Scorpio, sexual, she's so. highly sexual. Yeah. <laughs> so that's normally what I hear, but I'm like, that surprised me. Uh, my experiences with Sagittarius, I've never dated a Sagittarius, but like my cousins and stuff, like I have a cousin that's a Sag, he's pretty wild. He used to call me his drinking buddy. <laughs> um, I think Sag and Pisces can be known for that too, like drinking a lot. But, but then I have a sister that's a Sag too, and she's... I don't know, she's not too hype or crazy for the most part. I mean, I don't live with her or anything, so I don't know what she does at home. But. Well, yeah, I guess it's like, you know, like the daily life or like, yeah. you know, some crazy stories about somebody. If you're related to their son. I used to have a good friend in high school that was a sad. She was pretty wild and out there. I guess y'all can be pretty, pretty free-spirited too. Like, y'all like y'all's freedom. Y'all like just going out doing whatever.
whatever. Like that's the big thing is, <laughs> yeah, freedom loving, and like we'll fight our ass for it. <laughs> A lot of people think about Nicki Minaj and she the bitch. She's Sagittarius. Yeah. Um, Britney Spears is Sagittarius. Thing. Really? Yeah, her birthday is December second or third. Mm -hmm. I don't know which day Nikki's is, but I think she's a good representation of a Sagittarius. Well, I don't really know her. I just saw that when she was trying to fight Cardi B, and I was like, <laughs> I don't blame you. <laughs> so you've been in a lot of fights, you'd say? I knocked myself out one time. Did I tell you about that? Was it with the dude that was... Yeah, I think... Where was we at? I think we went out to eat. Was, was it me, you, and... What's his name? We went somewhere and we ate pizza and <laughs> knocked myself out on the pavement. They called 911. <laughs> I woke up in the hospital. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, that's just one time. I haven't been in many fights. You've been I... in a fight? That's surprising. <laughs> I mean, well, this one, there was this one time. You can't really say it was a fight because... I don't know, she was my friend and she was like picking on me because I was hanging with my other friends instead of that group of friends. And then like she said she was gonna come choke me or something. I was like, come what? do it. And she walked up to me and then Why so I just punched her. You? You're like super like, <laughs> yeah. you're like nice. <laughs> she punched what? me. I mean, she I, punched No, her? I meant I punched her. Like oh. she came up to try to choke me and I punched her and then she just grabbed her cheek. She's like, Why did you hit me? I was just playing. Like that's not a way to play, especially with your friend and stuff. Like, Oh. I don't play like that. You're not gonna threaten to come up and choke me and think I'm not about to. Yeah, you try see to defend hands myself. coming at you. Like, <laughs> the fuck? And she was like, "Oh, well, I'm yeah. the victim. What the fuck?" Yeah, so that was that. I haven't really gotten any fights with like random people or anything. I, I've gotten into fights with family members. Family members? Yeah. It's not like horrible like boom, 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 like but we've gotten into altercations I've, I've gotten into more altercations with family than like just outside people yeah well that's what family's for yeah teach you how but to i don't know i i feel like some of it was pretty horrible with some things that was done but I ain't gonna get into it oh yeah but they know i want to but know. i love them it's all love <laughs> Yeah, fighting is definitely a big sign of a Sagittarius. Mm. It's the, the fire. The fire sign is the <laughs> irrational shit. Pisces, we can get kind of crazy too. It's like it just, like for me, it takes a lot. Like you can do so much to me and it'll just, I'll let it build up and build up and build up. And then once I explode, that's it. It's like, oh my gosh, like you need to be in a straight jacket or something. Like, because I'm letting it all out at once at that point. Yeah, well, actually, like, Pisces are a lot like, you know, like, Tauruses, where it's like, you know, for um, a Coke bottle, you shake it, and it just goes all out of the place, and it starts going up and down, or, like, Taurus and Pisces, it's like, yeah, you let it out. Taurus, they're pretty bit. calm, too, but then they're like the bull, so it's like, yeah, they can they, be like, pretty well, too. Yeah. How do you feel about Geminis? Because, you know, all the signs, they have, like, an opposite sign, and for Sagittarius, that's Gemini. Well, opposites... I think my favorite sign to be around is uh, Aries because they match my crazy. But Gemini, I haven't really messed with those people. I don't really yeah. know. I have a sister who's Gemini and I'm not crazy about her. But she would like yeah. say that there's like two two sides of a Gemini. Yeah. This is like a negative. They, they have that duality. Yeah, a lot of people, sometimes they call them two-faced for that. <laughs> That's kind of like with me though, because for Pisces, their opposite sign is Virgo, and I don't really know a lot of Virgos. My mom was a Virgo though, but you know she's not in my life, so I didn't really know her. I think Brittany's yeah. a Virgo. Really? Hmm. I love Scorpio, so like um, I always uh -huh. said, some of my favorite signs were Scorpio and Aries. I love the Aries too. So I've had a lot of like friends, best friends as Aries. I've dated Aries. Um, I watch a lot of people on YouTube that are either Aries, Pisces, or Scorpio. My niece that I was always around, she would always talk to me. She's an Aries. So, yeah. Your niece? Yeah. I have a few nieces, but the one that was, like, one of my younger ones, the one that was 
when I was living with my sister, me and her, like she always came and told me stories. She even came and told me about fighting stories. She's 12. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, goddamn fire sign. Yeah. Fucking stand cancer. <laughs> oh, God. I don't have a problem with cancer. I, I think I kind of like cancer. Too. Like, Can't those are some stand of my them. favorites. I've had best friends cancer. I've dated cancer. Yeah, I like cancer. They're terrible fucking people to me. So what happened? Like, what? They're just like so emotional and so like, oh, That's me, true. me, 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 me. That's true. They are like the most emotional sign. They would say probably second up to that is Pisces as far as emotions go. Fucking selfish motherfuckers. <laughs> Yeah. They're the reason why Sagittarius people turn into serial killers. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's how much I hate well, them. Well, you heard it here. <laughs> <laughs> if a Sag turns into a serial killer and they was around a cancer, it might have been the cancer. It was fault. the cancer. <laughs> I mean, they're literally called cancer. Yeah, that's something that people never like. Like, if they're a cancer, they kind of don't like it because of that. It does give it kind of like a... They're the cancer to my life. A negative type of energy. Cut that shit out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what is she listening to? I don't know. I just heard, oh, wow. <laughs> So you would say cancer, and is that like it as far as like the worst for you? Absolute worst. Do I have my spot? Yeah, because it was right in front of this little thing. My door you was. You sure? Because I, I don't... I have a yeah, my door was literally right in front of one of those little poles, so... This guy yeah, took there's it? no other one. It was, it was. No, he didn't take it. It was. Trust me, it was right in front of that black post. Cause I was wondering if I could get the door open or not. For me though, that's funny because you said cancer. I used to say I've had like some of the worst experiences with Capricorn, and those are like the opposite signs. Cancer really? and Capricorn. <laughs> but now I kind of, I kind of understand Capricorn more. Once I realized it was actually my rising sign, like we have the sun, moon, and rising. I kind of got more into it and studied it a bit more and was like oh shit yeah that is kind of like me <laughs> and then my dad's a Capricorn so I was like uh, yeah they my are, ex like, a Capricorn like uh <laughs> is he really which one yeah. This is what we got for the party so far. This is probably all we're going to get besides the drinks that are going to be coming. Guess we're going to see what we can do with it. Make it do what it do with what we got. So really, I just picked up some Reese's prize bags. Um, I figured I'd do like five prize bags. So here's one. I do two girls, two boys, and then the fifth prize bag is just going to be like you know a couple dollars or something three to five dollars because really this is really just a small little get together nothing fancy but i thought i would try to help reese make it more interesting more fun because like she was literally just she had nothing planned at all basically <laughs> and so i tried to i reached out to her and was like you know do you want to have games and what kind of snacks do you want to have for the party just to kind of make it more <laughs> planned out to be in somewhat of an actual party. Got some little lip balms in this one and a car charger and a I actually like these. I get these a lot. They're from Dollar Tree and they have a, a lot of different scents. I really like them. And then this coconut infused bath sponge. So that's one bag. I believe this is one of the bags for the guys that I got. I got a DVD movie ride and then a car charger <laughs> to go with it so i'm getting ready to head back down to reese's now and help her set up everything we didn't get decorations so it's really not setting up it's really i guess getting the bags together getting the snacks out putting bowls and stuff uh making the jello shots and the cake so now that we're back at reese's i can show you all her paintings she feels like she has to work on them, but what does she need to work on? I really love this one.
10, that one. What? I don't think I have a baking pan. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. Does Dollar Tree have those? No, I think that's something I have to get from the Hey, here we go. We can do this. As I said, she also writes poetry, and if you follow my Instagram, I've already shared her book. I have it. I've read it already. I posted, I believe, some of my favorite poems from it. She actually has a poem in here that mentions Sagittarius. If I can find it, I'll read it. Here it is, page 109, Fire and Water. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm burned out. I write my story from fire, Sagittarius, the definition of haywire. I've been around the earth and so much more. It's isolating to be awake in the unconscious war. Maybe Jupiter has the same issues, but far away from me. You'd do the same if you were sewn apart completely. Here I incubate in the depths of the opposite. We together are the watery fire. The world outside has fallen away. I'm daydreamed in the minds of my admirers' emotional foreplay. I've learned to shake out the tragedy inside for now, a digital bath to keep me six feet above ground. So that is one of my favorite poems out of her book, Double Vision. And you have this on, uh, it's on Amazon? or Yeah. So it's on Amazon. If you want to check it out, definitely check it out. I feel like if you're into poetry you won't be disappointed in it sometimes I get a lot of poetry books and I read them and they remind me of no shade to um, any of the Instagram poets because I do post my poems on Instagram but a lot of those poems they just I don't know they just seem like journal entry thoughts to me and not so much poems uh, and they're really short not that anything is wrong with writing short poetry but yeah, I, I like the ones that are like this, where you can really get into it. You can really pick it apart. You can really find the ones that you relate to. I love the illustrations in here as well. So yeah, definitely check it out. And if she ever does anything with her paintings, huh? which I think you should do something with your paintings. Do you know how to do like digital artwork and stuff? No. Hmm. You'd probably be good at it. It's probably not too difficult. Really? Yeah, if you're like good at like actual painting and stuff. Do you, you feel like you're only good at painting or like can you draw? No, I'm good at anything as long as I know what to do. Yeah, so I think you should get, you really need to get back on Instagram and just share your poems and your paintings. So we didn't get actual decorations, but we did get balloons. What? <laughs> so here is the birthday cake right now we're calling it the little baby cake because it's a pretty small birthday cake like i said we pretty much going with what we got this is what we got it looks good it's gonna be good i think it'll be enough for the amount of people that will probably show up so we all good we good i got some ice cream to go with this so we're gonna have ice cream cake if anybody doesn't get enough cake because too many people came, we've got some cookies. I know this is like a, a weird um, brand of, of cookies, I guess. Brand, is that what I'm trying to say? I don't know. I guess this is a weird brand of cookies to get to go with cake and ice cream. But Those are so good, though. I know. I love fudge stripes. I had a taste for them, so I got those. Here's the ice cream, basic flavor, strawberry chocolate. So we gonna be good. We getting the jello shots together. Oh, party's gonna be all right. <laughs> Got a little drink to pregame a little bit before the party starts. And then I'm gonna go get changed up. I'm not gonna be wearing anything fancy. I'm literally just gonna put on a t-shirt and leggings. What? <laughs> but it's not my day. It's not. My day will be in March, and then I might try to dress up all extravagant. Ooh, girl. But yeah, since it's Reese's party, she should be the one with the attention standing out. So you get dressed up. You do your thing. Okay. And everybody okay. else. <laughs> everybody else can just come. Come as you are. Leggings, t-shirt, whatever. All right. So I'm pretty much ready. I uh, took my hair down out of the little bun. 
got a little bit of a curly wavy whatever situation going on that i like um here is the stoner shirt i do have it tied up so you can't really see the little stoner part i'm on my way down to reese's now i grabbed her little notebooks that i got for her and paper and markers because we're writing down like dares and shit like that for the drinking games the party is not starting yet so we're getting here to get everything actually put out and everything now oh they're telling me <laughs> Like, he's like, I'm here. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Natasha. Hey, Natasha. Hi. Hi. What's your name? I'm Steve. Steve. Okay. So I had to come back up to my apartment because I left my ID and we ordered some drinks off of GoPuff. So, yeah, they need my ID. So I'm rushing up here out of breath and shit. The GoPuff lady, she's all hyper and stuff, talking about, okay, I can wait. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm glad she's like. She ain't got no attitude or whatever about her job, but girl. Got it. Yay! Thank you. You're welcome. Sign like a five-year-old. All right. <laughs> but I feel, I mean, even, even if I'm just taking somebody rolling papers, I have to ID them. Wow. <laughs> and the app won't let you do anything unless you scan it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Surprise! Thank you. <laughs> I love your energy. Oh, I'll try. <laughs> yeah. Have a good night. Thank you. It was her birthday, and she wanted to get as fucked up as she wanted. And then she sprouted wings. And then she <laughs> fell from the 11th story, and now she can't talk good. <laughs> She kind of walks with a limp. <laughs> I do that over. That is a cake. Just got a tattoo about yappy it. Yappy breathy, Reese. Breathy, yappy Whatever it says. Yappy breathy, yappy. Yappy breathy. It's our new language for yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. 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 Light the ceremonial torches. <laughs> Bring forth the sacrifice. <laughs> and the sheepskin. Bring forth the sheepskin condoms. <laughs> hey man, we gotta got think of those who are allergic to latex, you know? Yes. Too many babies are born because of allergies to latex. I'm Sarah McLaughlin. Oh you wouldn't believe God. how many people are allergic to latex though, especially like in the OR. Just start turning red like where you put tape, like oh, the wow. tape, <laughs> like drapes and stuff. <laughs> Yappy breathy bees. It's called illiterate, <laughs> illiterate poop cake. You have to blow. And make Can a dream of blow. Have you seen your happy yeah, be breathy bees. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, we gotta like. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah, be breathy bees. Yeah, be yeah, breathy bees. Yeah, be breathy bees. Yeah, be breathy bees. Yeah, be breathy bees. Yeah, be breathy bees. To read. <laughs> you. And you say it's your breathy. Da na 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 na. It's your breathy to you. Hey, what's your breathy? What's your breathy? What's your what's your breathy? I don't have one. <laughs> oh, you don't have a breathy? Did your mom give breath to you? <laughs> a breathy? Yeah. yeah, my mom gave breath to me back in 89. Um, okay, I'm an Aquarius. You're oh my god, away. dude. I swear okay. I was sitting here like in my head like, he seems like an Aquarius god. to me. I swear, really? yeah. I was literally what, thinking what, Aquarius the... or Leo and there's literally like the opposite sign. What, what, so... what, what's the tell sign? Like, what, I don't what... know, like you just seem like, I want to say kind of quirky oh or something and then you like seem like you're just... <laughs> it's the Catholic <laughs> school <laughs> character. It's the Catholic camp show. Right? Like the stories you was telling ever. me and stuff, that kind of gave it away too. And I have a lot of those. So... I'm into the little moon signs and all that too. I have an Aquarius moon, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. And you are a... Pisces. I'm not... I'm not too knowledgeable in that and all that yeah. stuff. Um, I just, I just know that I'm an Aquarius. I don't know. Well, you know that much. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I know. Exactly. That's your sun sign. So you learned My something from me Aquarius. today now. Okay. Hey, it's a good exchange. Yeah. It's pretty dark. I'm back at home now. 
um the night was pretty interesting i met some interesting people um I, I know for a fact one of them was an Aquarius son because it was like he told me two things he was like uh you learned two things from me today because I was like um well you learn something new every day he was like well you learned two things from me and then I talked to him about astrology he was like oh so you're one of those that's into that and then he told me he's an Aquarius he was like at least I know you know I'm an Aquarius that much I know and I was like, so you're an Aquarius sun sign then? He was like, oh, okay. And I was like, yeah, so now you learned something from me. Anyways, there was a lot of interesting events going on at first. Um, but things did take another interesting turn of events. Uh, I don't want to get all into it because it's kind of like a just a, a confusing, not so confusing. But just a, it's something that can't be like really explained right now. And doesn't need to be explained right now on camera. But party's over. Uh, get together, whatever you want to call it. Everyone's calm now and chill now, I think. Um, everybody is... I don't know. I'm home. Uh, I don't. That's all I can say right now. <laughs>